Hi everybody, it's Chris and welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and create our views, do our routes, and hopefully finish up. So let's get started. In our view file we're going to go ahead and create a couple of new folders. First we're going to create a folder called Home. Next we're going to create a folder called Layouts. So, Layouts. Inside this Layouts folder, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call this uh, Default. That blade.php. And in here, I'm just going to throw some the uh, master page. So I'm just going to leave this like so. No title. I'm going to say HTML link. And then I'm just going to bring in the uh, CDN for Bootstrap 3. So this is the CDN for Bootstrap 3. I'm going to try to have this up on GitHub, if not today, then tomorrow. So don't be too concerned with trying to catch everything. So HTML link there and the head at the body. Closing before the bot closing body tag. We're going to throw it in two script files. So HTML, HTML script. I'm going to go ahead and copy that paste it below and the first one we're going to use is we're going to call AJ, uh, use the CDN for jQuery and you can get that from Google APIs or from actual jQuery, from the actual jQuery site and the next one is we're going to grab the bootstrap JavaScript file and that's also CDN so we can save that. And the last thing we need to go ahead and do is yield our content. So say yield content. And we're done with the master page, which we're calling default here. Next, we're going to go ahead and create our login page. So go to here to home, new file. Go ahead and save it as login.blade.php. And just to make things, just to get this over quick, I'm just going to paste in. This is actually from my blog tutorial. We're using the same login registration form from the blog tutorial. So if you have that, this should look familiar. There are some changes though. The biggest one is here. We're going to say if uh, errors has, if the login has errors, then we're going to uh, output the error messages here. So that's the biggest change. And then of course we're going to log in, we're going to grab the email address, and we're using HTML5 placeholders. So that will be about it for login. Like I said, don't worry about not getting all this because I'm going to try to have this up on GitHub today or tomorrow, depending on how well GitHub works for me. I don't have much luck with GitHub so or Git. I'm not a command line junkie, so okay. With that done, we need to go ahead and grab the get a registration form. So, a new file, Control Shift S. We'll say registration register that blade.php. So register that blade.php. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Grab it and paste this. And we're just grabbing the layouts default. We're using the same errors. Actually, actually, this is actually getting the old way. Just grabbing the error uh, messages, the old style that I always use, not using Sentry. Uh, but other than that, we're still using first name, uh, last name, email, password, stuff like that. So, we'll go ahead and save that. And next, we're going to go into our routes. First of all, we need to handle that handle our routes for our register. So we're just going to grab get those. So route we'll do our gets first. So route get. I'm just going to say register. And remember, we had that in home in the home controller under get register. So get 
register. Next, we need to go ahead and get get that login form. So route git login, and likewise, that was under home controller at git login. Next, we'll handle our posts. So route post or post login, since we can both post and get from the same URL. Uh, home controller at post login. And I need to correct this. There we go. Next is route post, and this is going to be register. This is also going to be home controller at post register. Once I have this put onto um, GitHub, I'll go ahead and throw the GitHub URL in the description. So if you're wondering, you know, where is it at on GitHub, I'll actually post that. Next, let's go ahead and do this group. So route group, I'm gonna put this group into an auth. So array, auth array, route group, array. For authentication, so for auth, so we're going to function, then that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have in here is that is an admin, which you need. We need to go ahead and create. So I'm just going to say route get admin, and I'm going to go ahead and create a controller for that too. So we're going to say admin controller. admin controller or say at index because it's going to create a portal plate for us so we'll just use that and then the route get log out and that's going to be if you remember home controller at log out Okay, so that should clear up our routes. Next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead into this filters, into our filters, and grab and do some editing in our filters. See our filter like this? I'm going to go ahead and comment this out by hitting control backslash, and we're going to write our own. So we're going to say route filter. And it's going to be off. So route filter off. And function. I'm going to say if not sentry check. So sentry check. Not sentry check. So if it fails, what it's doing is if it's failing the authentication, it's going to redirect the user to login. The route login. Redirect route login. Okay. And that's that. Now let's go ahead and create this view. So we're going to create a view, put in a new folder and call it admin. And Create a new file and just call it index.php, index.blade.php. So index.blade.php. Enter there. And I'm just going to copy this in. Basically, it's just going to say admin section, and it's going to give a link to logout. So nothing fancy here. Go ahead and close some of these windows. Next, we need to go ahead and create that admin controller just to show the index. Let's go ahead and save the home controller. 
And to do this, we'll just use Jeffrey Wade's generator, which is say controller. So that will generate controller. I'm going to say admin controller. And evidently I spelled something wrong. Let's so control shift P again and try it again. Generate controller. Admin controller. And it's still not want to do it, so let's do it another way. Laravel artisan controller make. Here let's say admin controller. I don't know why it's not letting me create a controller. Oh, because there's a filter, T string filter, line 47. Let's look and see what that says. There we go. Control S, that was my fault. So Control to P. Controller, admin controller. There we go. There we go. We're just going to say admin index. This needs to be changed to admin though. We'll save that and let's go out to here. Refresh. Let's go ahead and register. And it's not grabbing. First of all, I see it's not grabbing. And then I'm going to start that. Not grabbing our CDN. So let's go into the default. Made that PHP, HTML, style. So save that. Go back out. Refresh. And there we go. So I'm going to say. Let's do Star Wars, Darth, Vader. We'll say you at you.com. We'll give them a password. And then we'll register. Okay, I don't know why I didn't have redirect to. Okay. We can have that later. We throw a redirect in. So let's go ahead and just try to log in. Stop oh, email. You at you dot com. Password. Let's log in. So you see it went ahead and logged us in. And here's our little log out button so we can log out. The only thing I've noticed, and let's see if it does it here. If I try to go in, now I'm not logged in. If I try to go into the admin, usually in level four with its authentication, it would kick you to the login page. No matter if you weren't logged in and you tried to go into a section that was blocked off by a group, it would kick you back to the login section because, uh, and theoretically, this should do it too because th this is what the filter is actually doing. It's saying if you're not checked in, if you go through through the auth route, you know, this auth filter, if you come in this auth filter, anything that's pulling from this auth filter, if it comes in and you're not checked, it should return your it return redirect to route login. Now for some reason it's not doing it. It wasn't doing it before, let's see if it's doing it now. Nope, it's not doing it. It's calls this function get and return this jar get this key. Now what it's looking for is it's looking for the cookie, uh, the login, the login, and it's not getting it. So what it should be doing is kicking us back to a login page. That's what it should do, and that's exactly what this what this filter does. But it's not doing it. So that's the only gripe I have about Sentry. I need to look into this a lot further to find out how to get it to work that way. But like I said, I'm going to try to have all this code up on GitHub as soon as I'm done with this video. If not, it'll be out tomorrow. The videos will be up on YouTube today, of course. And if you haven't been to our new website, go to it. If you'd like to donate, 
you can donate there because uh, we really need new stuff like we need new microphones we need a new processor for my PC because it takes like 15 minutes to 15 minutes to half an hour to render a video and stuff like that so you can donate there you can buy a blog tutorial there you can go through all our videos there so I'll see you in the next tutorial